We give thanks tomorrow for many blessings, but for one Texas family, Thanksgiving is a stark reminder of one empty seat at their table. It's been five years since a young man in the Texas panhandle near Amarillo went missing. Thomas Brown was later found dead. Despite investigations by several local and state police agencies, plus a private investigator, there's still no answers in his death. Ken's 5 reporter Nicole Kahn has followed the case from the beginning. She tells us about the relentless search for answers. High school senior Thomas Brown was on the state champion Canadian Wildcat football team, class president, and in drama. But the real drama began in this rural town the night before Thanksgiving in 2016 when he disappeared. His body was found two years later, not far from town in a remote wildlife area near Lake Marvin. The story of what happened to him reads like a choose-your-own-ending book, and all the outcomes end in tragedy. There's always been some controversy about whether Thomas's death was a suicide, murder, or accident. There's still no agreement on those three possibilities. I believe those three people are, are we're looking at them. The Canadian finish. community thought there would be some definitive answers oh, when the private investigator the family hired decided we... to open the book on Thomas's investigation in a four hour long town hall. And it's not theory, folks, it's fact. The attorney general released 249 pages of evidence in October stating Thomas's death is questionable with no sufficient evidence to determine how he died. A statement from the district attorney says it is the long standing practice not to present suspicious deaths to a grand jury if evidence shows the death was a result of a suicide. A timeline from the attorney general shows Thomas searched on his phone for the suicide hotline. Ken's five was turned away when we went to ask the district attorney questions in person. Why Private investigators town hall revealed person. little new information but it showed how part of Thomas's face was crushed. So basically this whole section here. He also exposed what he says was a local gambling ring that bets on high school football games and may be connected to Thomas's death. Is it true that there's a gambling ring? I don't care. Is it true that they violated UIL rules from head to toe that could take away state championships? Yeah, probably, but I don't care. I want to know what happened to Thomas. All of us do. But the question of what happened to Thomas was we do not know never specifically was answered. Theory. Now we know his head was smushed in. How bad? Was it bad enough to kill him? Maybe his head was smushed in first and then they shot him in the back of the head because he was still alive. I don't know. You come up with your theory. The best chance of getting better answers is to keep updating the case, said out. cold case investigator cases. Alex Baber. You just have to jot their memories. And by doing that, we have to get it out into the public's vision and in front of them. Because if not, you know, it just it literally files away and is forgotten, unfortunately. This cross is really the only marker for Thomas Brown. It was put near where his remains were found. His remains are in a Texas lab his family unable to have them to put him to rest because his case remains open. Nicole Kahn, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. The private investigator has asked the U.S. Department of Justice to review Thomas Brown's case. To see all the documents the attorney general released and to see the full four-hour town hall, head over to kens5.com. If you have any information on his death, call Klein Investigations.